Well, the Oakland A's in the city of Oakland top of mind this week as they continue to haggle over the Howard Terminal ballpark. In a 6-1 vote, the Oakland City Council approved that waterfront park Tuesday, but added a number of amendments to the term sheet that the A's will now have to contemplate. Meanwhile, the A's brass still shopping in Las Vegas this week for a potential site for a stadium while this all gets worked out. Joining me for some insight is Dale Tafoya. He is a baseball historian and the author of two books on the A's, one on Billy Martin and the other on the Bash Brothers. Dale, good to have you. Good morning. Uh, great to be with you, Frank. Thank you. All right. Well, let's start. The A's say it's the bottom of the night, the last hour. Uh, how did we get this far? Well, uh, I, th I think ultimately uh, the A's are tired uh, of being in this limbo. Uh, when uh, Steve Schott and Ken Hoffman, uh, real estate uh, developers in the Bay Area, first purchased the club from Walter Haas in 1995, they hired Lou Wolf uh, to be the vice president of, uh, president of venue development in 2003. Now, Lou Wolf later purchased the A's with John Fisher, and uh, Lou Wolf immediately started looking for a stadium in the Oakland area. In fact, he immediately he suggested the, the site directly on the Oakland Coliseum uh, complex. Uh, and Lou Wolf later uh, bought the team in 2005. And the, the A's had just been in this limbo. The A's had played at the Oakland Coliseum since 1968. The Atlanta Braves ha have had three new stadiums <laughs> since then. So yeah. the, the A's uh, definitely need a new stadium. This process, this polarizing process, is a true test of how much both sides want each other. Yeah, well, I think Fenway and Wrigley are the two oldest, but uh, they're here for a reason. The Coliseum really does need to go. Let's talk about Las Vegas. We uh, have some sound from Mayor Libby Schaff, Ace President Dave Cavill. Let's listen to that, and then I want your reaction. Here we go. Play things out in Oakland, see what can happen there. You know, we're kind of in the bottom of the ninth uh, in that situation. Build momentum in Southern Nevada, which has you know, such a, a great recent track record with professional sports. We believe the A's are serious. We believe they do want to stay rooted in Oakland. And, and a lot of other things could be just negotiations blustering. So it appears the city wants to keep the team under their terms and the A's are tired of the, the old song and dance. So what do you think about Vegas? Is, is that a viable option or is it just a bluff to get what they want? Well, I mean, if, if you think about it, Caval, Dave Cavill, and, and John Fisher, the owner, the billion-dollar owner and an architect, visited Las Vegas last week. And Cavill is engaging with the Las Vegas media. So you have to think their their uh, their uh, talks about possible possible relocation is is uh, genuine. Uh, just, you know, and, and you have to remember this, despite the A's being a, a quote unquote small market team with a low payroll, with low revenue, a billion, a billionaire owns the A's, John Fisher, and he's a private guy and he's chose to let Dave Cavill be the, be the, uh, the front man. But the A's are very ambitious. Cavill's a go-getter and Cavill wrote a book about baseball stadiums in 1998. So he is a baseball guru and he wants this baseball kingdom on Howard Howard Terminal. And uh, I think that they're, they're sold on it. And, but I do think you can't uh, ignore uh, the, the, the talks about possible re relocation. And the, the unfortunate thing about when, when you throw the relocation card out, sometimes it, 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 the fans are the ones that lose out and it, it breaks community trust. Uh, when you have a franchise that said, has said they were rooted, rooted in Oakland three years ago, and now suddenly flirting with, uh, with with Las Vegas. So that's kind of where, where we're at now. But I definitely think you should take uh, the, 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 those uh, visits to Vegas seriously. Well, let's talk about Fisher a little bit. He bought the team in 05 for $180 million bucks. It's worth $1.125 billion. Now, what do, what do we know about this guy? He didn't even show up the day he bought the team. And here they are in the negotiations with the Oakland City Council, and he's invisible. That seems odd to me. Yeah, well, well that's how, Fisher, how Fisher's been since he, he joined Lou Wolf to purchase uh, the team in 2005, as you mentioned, for $180 million. And after the San Jose deal uh, uh, fell through, Lou Wolf sold his shares uh, of the A's, and John Fisher became the principal owner of the A's in, 
in 2016, and that's where he brought Dave Cavill uh, in after the 2016, and Cavill has been the face of the A's uh, stadium search ever since. But yeah, uh, uh, Fisher is a billionaire, but uh, Dave Cavill is the, is the front man, and they want a new stadium. Well, I think uh, we can all agree on that. They certainly need one. Uh, we know the Warriors have moved. The Raiders have moved. Let's hope the, uh, the Oakland A's can stay put. Quickly, uh, Dale, I know you've written a couple of books, one on Billy Martin and the resurrection of the A's. You wrote one on the Bash Brothers. Uh, also, you got another one out. Why don't you give it a quick plug before we say goodbye? Oh, yeah. My next book's coming out in 2022. It's, it's a story based in Huntsville, Alabama in 1985. Um, I, I love the, the 80s and I love 1980s baseball. So story about a, a major a, a baseball renaissance in Huntsville, Alabama in 1995. So I'm pretty excited about putting that together now. All right. Well, uh, pleasure to have you on KTVU and I uh, hope we chat again, Dale. Dale Tafoya. Thanks. Thanks, Frank. All right. Uh, well, let's check in with Rosemary now and get your forecast. She